Hey guys, what is up? It's John here with BFB Media, and today we're going to be doing a video on a dash cam called the CE67 by TwoGuard. In this video, we're going to be doing an unboxing, a quick little settings overview, and I'll provide you guys some sample footage from this dash cam. So with that out of the way, let's go. All right, so first things first, what we get here, it looks like some type of gift, um, gift offer, uh, $20 Amazon gift card, ooh, 128 gigabyte SD card. Uh, you can also get a type C dual USB car charger with a hardwire kit and a car vacuum. And all you gotta do is uh, basically give us, uh, or give them, give them a review on the product. So let's put this aside. Next thing we got here, looks like a thank you letter. Yep, thank you letter. Now I wonder if TwoGuard is similar to Camp Park because Camp Park uh, gave a type of letter that's similar to this when I bought their X40 action camera. All right. Ooh, I like the packaging so far and presentation. Foam. Alright, so it looks like this is the actual actual camera itself. Let's actually put this to the side for now and we'll come back to that later. Let's take a look at what else we got here. Alright, so first things first, we got our micro or mini USB. We also have Looks like an adapter, or uh, it's a mount, basically, in double-sided tape. We have our suction cup for the windshield mount, and of course we got our power connector. And it is a mini USB, which basically plugs into your cigarette lighter. Aside from that, we also have. Not sure what this is, but we'll put this aside for now. And of course, you got your instruction manual. And cool, you got your little uh, looks like a decal that you can put on your windshield to warn people that uh, the car is equipped with the dash cam. So on to the dash cam itself. Alright, so initial thoughts, it's actually it's made out of plastic, but it seems sturdy, it's not too too heavy. Um, at the front here you have of course your 4K camera, uh, it's the main camera, basically records what's outside of the car or you know in front of your car when you're driving. Um, you do have your LCD. And this camera right here is actually the indoor or uh, basically the interior camera that records whatever is happening inside of the car. Um, if I remember correctly, I believe this is adjustable. You can basically adjust this. Uh, you could turn it around and so forth, uh, but we'll get to that a little bit later. Uh, the other thing too that I want to mention that the indoor camera or the interior camera is a 1080p camera and the main camera is 4k so <clears throat> at the top you do have your power connector and this right here is your mount and the way that works is actually let me just grab the suction mount to show you guys but so this part, of course, is going to be mounted to your windshield. And this part right here, all you have to do is actually slide that in. Slide it in like that. It's a little bit tight, but you know, you can slide it in there. That sounds kind of dirty. Sorry. <laughs> all right. So, um, okay. So let's remove this so that uh, it gives us a little bit more room. Um, on the other side of your camera you do have your slot for the SD card 
as well as uh, it looks like additional power for um, for the rear camera. All right, guys. So just a quick rundown of the menu and provide you guys an overview of the customizations. So at the bottom here, you have a few different buttons. You have your mode button, your up button. This is actually your settings um, button. This is your down button, and this serves as your power and OK button. So in order to get into different modes, right now it's in video mode. If you want to get into, let's say, picture taking mode, just click the mode button and there you go it takes you into the picture taking mode and in order to take pictures just click the ok button and if i had an sd card it would take that picture but let's go back to video and to do that just click the mode button once more and you will see that's in video because at the top you can see the actual like camcorder or video icon um so yeah so with that in mind, let's take a look at the settings menu. And settings menu wise, resolutions, um, you do have a few different options. You have basically UHD, FHD, UHD plus FHD, uh, Quad HD plus HD, Full HD plus Full HD. And what this um, pretty much signifies when there's two, uh, such as the UHD plus Full HD, um, basically, the UHD is the main camera, uh, the one that's pointing towards the road, towards the front of the car, and the FHD is actually the interior camera. So we're going to keep it at uh, UHD plus Full HD. And you also have options for loop recording. Basically, this uh, this is the the time or mm, the duration of the loop. Um, we're going to keep it at three minutes. So basically after three minutes, it'll start a new file to, to record again. You have your time-lapse recording capabilities, which is pretty nice. We're going to keep it off. You have your wide dynamic range capabilities, which we're going to keep on. You also have your exposure and it's adjustable from plus or minus three. We're going to keep it at zero. Uh, you also have your G sensor capabilities on this particular dash cam where let's say your car gets hit or something like that it'll automatically start recording once it it um, it senses any type of disturbance uh, you also have motion detection capabilities which is pretty cool uh, you have the ability to record or turn on or off audio recording of course the date stamp and inside image rotation and so forth so let's go on to the other settings menu here basically you can set the date or time you have your night mode capabilities uh, which is basically uh, you toggle it on or off we'll keep it at auto we're gonna keep it at auto you also have your screensaver your delayed power off basically how many seconds um, it's a time that the camera will turn off after it has detected that it hasn't gotten any power or something like that. But here, we're going to keep it at five seconds. And the beep sound, ability to change the language, your frequency, this is your light frequency. It's uh, either 50 or 60, we're going to keep it at 60 hertz. Your GPS, it's either you toggle it on or off, we're going to keep it on. Uh, your time zone. Uh, which is pretty good. Uh, you can just scroll through the different time zones to find your particular time zone. We're going to keep it at whatever. I don't really care too much about that. Uh, your speed unit, whether it's kilometers per hour, miles per hour, and so forth. We're going to keep it at miles per hour since we're in the United States. Your daylight savings, parking monitor, um, and so forth. But before we actually exit out of this particular settings menu, let's take a look at the version to see what kind of firmware or how recent the firmware is. And as you guys can see, firmware on this dash cam is from November 26 of 2020, so it's relatively new. Um, 
but with that in mind let's actually exit out of this and since we've gone over the settings menu let's actually move on to the testing of this dash cam let's go All right guys, so before we get into the driving test footage, I wanted to actually see how well this camera performs. I wanted to see the type of video quality that this camera captures without a windshield in front, which can cause any degradation in image quality. So in order to do that, I actually mounted this dash cam on a tripod using Velcro straps, and I powered it using a power bank that I had laying around. So here's the footage that I got using the camera in that format. All of the footage was recorded at 4K UHD and the micro SD card I used was a SanDisk ImageMate Pro which is rated at a write speed of 90 megabytes per second. Three, two, one. And on to the driving footage. The following footage was footage I got with the CE67 dual dash cam by TubeGuard. Resolution was 4K UHD and the micro SD card I used was a SanDisk ImageMate Pro which is rated at 90 megabytes write speed per second.
it guys so this pretty much concludes my video on the ce67 dual dash cam by two guard uh, overall hopefully you guys were able to see how well this dash cam performs i'm pretty happy with my purchase and i'm actually pretty excited that i'll be able to get some awesome dash cam footage like those that you see in russia and china and so forth i'm just kidding reason i got one is just for personal security purposes so yeah anyways if you guys found this video helpful uh in any way i would really appreciate it if you guys hit the like and subscribe button and also if you take a look at the description box i do have a survey there that hopefully you guys can help me out with it's a little project that i am working on um it's about kindness and and gratification and, and all that good stuff it's pretty short, it's only five questions, so it only should take you guys a few seconds. Anyways, until next time, take care.